Good morning. Welcome back to Flora Mancer. Looks like it's nighttime here right now. Let's sleep real quick. So, since yesterday's stream, I played a lot. <laughs> I played for hours in the afternoon. Um, there was something I was going to figure out. And I don't remember what it was, but I guess if... Oh, I figured it out. Now I remember what it was, and I'll show you in a second. So, changes that have happened here. Let's switch into spectator mode so you guys can see. All right. Nothing's really changed around here, but I have ripped off the ceiling, ripped off the roof of the farm. Yes, it's still going to spawn things at nighttime until I get rid of it, but there's that. This is running, however, our Rosa has died, and it's run out of mana over here, so... Things aren't being collected unless they're close because the range of the hopper hawk leaves things on this side and of course the uh, XP orbs get stuck. But here's what we, the problem we were having was that the influence lens was pushing the mana bursts that were coming in from Rose Arcana out and not letting them go into the pool. So I went into Vasky's discord and asked how I can get it to how can I cancel it once it's reached a certain distance? I don't want it to impact anything else. They recommended, or at least someone there recommended, a empty mana prism to remove the lens attributes. That works. However, there's still a little bit of residual in influence a little bit of residual influence if it were just a mana pool here and then a spreader on this side coming from the Rosa. So I've kind of got this is probably pretty janky. It's probably not efficient enough, but I removed the extra mana spreader. I just move this down a little bit. This is where the Rosa is. We're under above this dirt and it's paired with the Rosa Arcana, this mana spreader. And so these things are aimed at the mana spreader. Okay. And so they go through the mana prism and it cancels most of it out. So it doesn't have any influence on the mana coming from the mana spreader here into the pool. So we, we quote unquote fixed it. It'd be fixed. As you can see though, I have also done a whole mess of grinding. I spent hours making living rock which meant making smooth stone which meant getting cobblestone getting iron turning it into mana steel so i can make the pumps and more iron for the carts and the sparks i had to kill so many blazes so they needed a bunch of fell pumpkins and iron bars seriously i've spent i think i spent about five hours yesterday doing this here because this didn't take very long to fix to get another influence and yeah, that didn't take long to fix this though making all the augments I'm almost out of ender pearls now I think I have under a stack yeah 14 so that's gonna be something we're gonna need to worry about um <laughs> anyway this was a challenge because it overlapped it didn't overlap once it reached the other end. It didn't reach. I couldn't figure out how to get it in any kind of configuration where I didn't create loops. And the one thing I finally figured out was I found an area where one overlap was just far enough away from another that I could bend this. So this does not create a loop because this one and that one don't connect with either. So this one only connects with that one and this one only connects with that one. That was, um, that was insane uh, to figure out, but it took a really long time. Again, I do these things in survival mode. That's why all of the dirt paths um, to kind of like count and pillar out and figure out how to connect them. Uh, this, uh, yeah. Yeah, I just started, so I'm showing what I've worked on. This connects with the pool that's up here, this one here, that pushes into our battery. 
So now we have three directions connected. We have this one, that one, and that one. Now we do need to put one that direction um, at some point here in the near future. This right here, this middle part, is where we're going to put our farm that we figured... Oh, why did you spawn there, you bad, bad thing? Anyway, this is where our farm is going to go that we have started figuring out in creative. Maybe we'll get to that today. It's going to involve some creative building to lay down the platform and count out the spacing and everything. And then going into survival to place dirt, water, dispensers, make all that stuff. But the actual platform, I'm probably going to want to do in creative. whoop doo You know, it's just a platform of blocks. It doesn't imp impact progression. So I'm, I'm cool with that. Um, I have also laid out a couple of platforms over here. I want to know, you know, where the middle was. This, again, is our area for the orchids and the cobble slash stoneworks. The metamorphosis. This is like our rock area. Um, I don't know how big the pads I'm going to need. I am going to want to make the walkways a little bigger. Um, they're just slightly larger right now, but I'm going to want to make them larger. But uh, yeah, one of our goals today is to get some resources together to make another one of these setups where we can slowly expand as we get mana. Um, so we knew just the one for Cobbleworks. Yep. And we're going to put it over here. The Cobbleworks is going to be all the way over here. So we will need to get mana, mana from over here all the way to here so that we can... Um, Harvest it with a bore lens, and then we can collect it into a barrel for cobble, turn some of it into sand via the alchemy catalyst, and smelt some of it into glass. I'm not sure we really need a lot of gravel, so I'm still trying to decide if that just might, right now, might just be a manual process. Um... I'm trying to think of anything else that I might want to make over here. Perhaps mana glass would be a nice thing because we're already going to have a mana pool. We're already making glass over here. So this is going to be for that. Um, we could... I don't tend to use a lot of stone brick in my Batania stuff. I prefer the living rock brick. Otherwise I was thinking about crafting stone brick, but we probably don't need that either. Really don't need flint. Yeah, so that sort of stuff. We're going to start working on gathering the resources to, to create another one of these. Um, the other thing that I've done is I have... The, the uh, end of flames that we made last time are now running. They're now being placed over here. I have the timer for two minutes. Um... It's actually one minute and one and a quarter minutes. So what, 75 seconds is what I would need to fill this platform in and out to keep it full after it's full. So every hour and there's 48 spots, it would take just, it would just take a minute, 15 seconds to keep filling it once it's full. Does that make sense? So to have it a staggered, I've got it at two minutes just because I don't have enough redstone to make it perfect because redstone I could do 10 second increments and get up to um, what I need for a minute. Can't I do that? Let me, I'm thinking here now, maybe not. Because that would only be 60 and 8. No, it would not be enough. That would. 60, 60 seconds and then... Ugh, I don't know why I'm overthinking it. We're fine. 
Anyway, because it would only take six, seven, eight, nine. It would only take nine, um, eight, eight red sand. Anyway, I don't have any at the moment. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Um, I did have to turn this off for a little while because my chest was full. Um, it's back on again because we're playing and are going to be producing mana and using mana. So, um, I just been collecting it and filling up the barrel over here. The barrel here has been upgraded once. Um, so it can hold 32 stacks. Um, yeah. How are we on these? 54. We're going to need to make some more. Um, we use 48 an hour is what we got to calculate. And so this is only going to last us a little over an hour. And I'll be playing more than that. So we'll need to make some more of those. I have made some more hydrangeas, but we'll probably need to make more of those as well. Yep, we're at just over an hour's worth of hydrangeas as well. So we have that. I've run the Jaded Amaranthus a little bit, but I've already used some of the blue, which there's only two stacks of, and cyan, which there's only three and a half stacks of. So I've been I've used these instead of doing the bone meal. So I ran that on a two minute timer, so every two minutes it harvested. And then I turned it off for a little while to rebuild our buffer here. <laughs> As you can see, it has consumed a decent amount of mana that was filled up here. So, yeah. Um, have I done? I think that's about it. I mean, I've been trying to collect feathers and Egg, trying to get more chickens for more feathers because we need feathers for air runes, which we need for hopper hawks. Um, I started collecting the resources we need here for. Can I open you? 4k. Whatever. I open the other things. Anyway, started collecting the things for runes, as you can see. Um, I went to the nether and did some mushroom harvesting. Um, speaking of the nether, I re when I relocated my nether portal, I moved, I moved the nether portal that was, that we used to have. So this is the one that was over there. I also made some more obsidian and it's bigger. Uh, the other one in the nether is relocated a little bit away. It's still in the nether fortress area. It's just not right on top of it. So, yeah, there we go. So, what are we going to do first? First, I want to get an, a Rosa Arcana over there. I, I have crafted three. They're in my inventory. So, we're going to put one... We're gonna put the others in over here where I am doing flowers. I mean you. Or not. You got picked up anyway, didn't you? I made more endo flames. I need to make I need to get more seeds and then make hydrangeas next. Current that's the current maintenance. Per, you know, we have to wait to automate this process a little bit more. I could do it now with that setup we're making bulk flowers i could easily have that set up and just maintain them for each individual flower i'm currently not interested in doing that so there we go let's stand here and collect, have some of the xp picked up from us it will fill up the hello It'll fill up the buffers for the influence lens, and when the mana spreader here has space in it, the influence lens will push stuff this way. So, yeah. Currently full of me standing here filling it up. But that's nice and helpful, because right here these need to be full, and they're not yet. So we're working on that. But. Yep. Anyway, I have bones on me. Let's 
go put these endo flames in the drawer over here. Um, good, I have dirt. I made some more velocity potency lenses on here because this was filling up. Yeah, I told you, I, sp I spent hours playing yesterday after stream. I was just like, let's just play Minecraft all day. Haven't really had that drive for a while, so it felt good. Anyway, I also spent some time making a little bit more on my to-do list so that I can, you know, do things. And I just wanted to share with you what's on my to-do list so that we can work on some things. Now, we still need to make a ventri uh, ventriculosis and, uh, sorry, ventriculotus. It might be a good idea to do that before the cobble works simply because we need ender pearls. And right now the endermen are not staying put and since I'm not over there killing them, they're just disappearing. So we desperately need a ventriculotus. So working towards that might be our best step for the morning and then getting into a cobble works. The other things I have on here is building a rune supplies buffer so that when I want to do bolt crafting, I've got resources on hand already. Um, Starting making some terra steel so I can build up my weapons and tools and armor so that we can eventually fight a wither boss and make a beacon and create the Gaia Guardian arena to fight the Guardia the Gaia Guardian eventually because I'm going to need to kill it numerous times so that's going to be something we should work toward um, and I'd like to get to figure out you know where I want to put villagers because I would like to have villager trading I rarely ever use villager trading but I thought it'd be nice for you know perhaps just clerics if I could get books that sort of stuff um books enchanted books who knows we'll see that sort of stuff yeah and finally get my storage room sorted instead of just living out of those five boxes those five chests that are up there so those, that's on my list of things to work on. Um, let's start with, where's my most out of post-it notes. I'll have to get some more. Woo. I use it just for jotting down things. Um, let's start with the ventriculosis. Vinculos. Man, I keep saying that wrong. Oh, he's up here already. All right, so we need lust. And... Uh, water and is that envy? Slop. And water. And lust needs air and summer. And then sloth needs air and autumn. Okay. So we're going to start making the runes that we need for this Vinky Lotus. Woo! All right, so I know we already have air, and when you craft a next tier up, you'll get the lower tier ones back. So we don't have to worry about air. We have air, and we have water as well. So let me check those off. We need to make summer and autumn, and then we'll be able to craft the lust and sloth. Oof. All right. Summer. And we're at autumn to our list. All right, so summer. We have done this one before. We need earth. So let's do earth. And autumn needs fire. We don't have fire at the moment either, but 
it has air so we're good there all right summer let's make an earth rune um we have the stuff to make it and we're just going to manually um do that and then we'll cross that off the next one we need to do is fire which i have the stuff in here for fire as well all right so that's going and then summer we'll need to go grab some materials sand red sand terracotta melon and a slime ball all right up here for what we have um i don't have any red sand can i break sandstone into red sand some packs let you do that you use terracotta to make red sand ah that's the anvil smashing i don't want to make an anvil right now so we need terracotta we have one so we need more than that so we need clay do i have I look like i have clay in any of those so i have 21 sand i need a couple for the summer rune but let's turn some of these into clay. Get them smelted up. All right, we'll turn that into red sand when that's done. And then we need melon and slime ball, which I need to go fetch. Oh, there's some feathers up here I forgot I had. I need to get those over in the rune supplies chest. Okay. Slime ball, melon. How many red sand? One. All right. Now we should be able to make a summer rune. A maroon needs earth and air, right? Yeah, okay. Let's. Um, and the terracotta. So there's going to be summer. Autumn, we need a sapling, I believe. Woo. All right. Great. Now autumn we can remove you autumn needs fire and air yeah nice mob char i liked it too uh so this is the one that's going to take us a little bit of time drops from any batania grass when harvested with a weight lens we can do that one this one is from the orchid tarum i think this one's also from the orchid tarum so we may just want to get that going temporarily um 
this is a guaranteed drop though so we may want to do that instead of trying to hope for dry grass the other one is mycelium which we could do with infested spores and do a drop of an actual drop for that too all right So I know we have a pulse spreader and the weight lens. We need a diluted pool. And do I have any buttons or do I need to make one? I have a button. Okay. And then we need to do the infested spore. And um vivid grass is that prismarine it's cactus green we can do that one do i have cactus up here no nope. Now we have what we need for that. We have dirt in our inventory and I still have, from way back in the day, I still have this set up over here um, where there's a hole under one of these. That one. Okay. Because we were trying to get actual dirt, but now we need to just change some of this out for um I forgot the weight lens, didn't I? No, I have it. Okay, good. There's already a button here. We'll just move you. Okay. Weight lens. Step one. We're going to make a bunch of this because I don't want to have to uh, lose it. We're going to do mycelium first. Okay. And we should be able to just put our that in there. It doesn't need a bunch. And then, there we go, we have a piece of mycelium. Great. Definitely can't wait till we can do a better process. And then this vivid grass, we'll do the same thing for. And it'll give us the dry grass when we pick it up, right? Yep. All right, so we have both of those. Let's put them out of my inventory so I don't accidentally um, place them and have to do this again. Then the next thing we need is a fermented spider eye. We can totally do that. In fact, I need to grab a spider eye. Spider eye. There's sugar here too, so I just need a mushroom. And 
then we have to get a another sapling so we can grow a tree and get the leaves all right fermented spider eye check 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 now we need the autumnal leaves from traverse um any kind of work so we just need to get one of these four um and you can get them by throwing your saplings and we need a dark oak throwing them in with the alchemy catalyst i need shears as well for the leaves and we'll grab a little bit of bone meal from over here also and we'll sleep Okay, I know I have, yep, I have a dark oak one here. Okay, alchemy catalyst. This should give us the red ones, yep. And we're just gonna place it over here and get it growing. And then take most of the leaves. All right, let's chop this down and see about getting another one of them. Um, I think we're far enough away to do that. Did that give us any? It did not. <laughs> oh well, we'll have to do it again. Um, yeah, we don't need the oak. Okay, so we now have everything we need to make an autumn. What are the tier ones? Air and fire. Air and fire. Air, fire. Two of these might be three. It is three. There we go. Um, do I have it on me? I do. So that'll be autumn. We're getting through these faster than I expected. Woohoo. How are we doing on? All right. We now have autumn. Let's put the air back. Didn't it drop more than one? Oh, it might have already been picked up by the... Okay. So now we need to do lust and sloth. Lust is this one. Sloth is this one. All right. So we need four mana diamonds and we need some smoky quartz and I already have some mana quartz. So let's go up here. We'll just take that with us. Smoky quartz is coal and quartz, I believe. Yep. Oh, hang on, we need diamonds. All right. And let's do lust first. We need air and summer. Air and summer. Air, summer, two diamonds, two of the mana quartz. Okay. 
I have no idea how much mana this is going to take. <laughs> Looks like we're okay for now. A decent amount. All right. So that's good. And then the next one, we need air and autumn. Air and autumn. All right. This is done, so we should probably turn it off. Actual flower, we're gonna need a redstone root, which I believe we have already crafted, and then black, purple, and green. We need the water one too. Two black, two purple, and a regular green. See about that redstone root. That means this one we can turn on and off via redstone if we wanted to. And we already have water in the petal apothecary over here, so we're just going to use this one. Okay. There you go, Vinculotus get. Now we do want to do this floating because we're going to put it underneath the platform. Um, I have no idea how much mana it consumes to run, so that'll be fascinating. Anyway, let's make it a floating one. And get it placed. This should help us get Enderman to stop doing that. They'll be in range of the Bellthorn then, and be killed. Yeah. Alright. I wanted to put this next to the Bellthorn here. Which one did you bind to? That one there. I probably don't want you bound to that one because it's not very full. That one. Yep. Good, good. So. Yay. That should help. Hmm. I might want to speed up the spreader. I might want to add a potency velocity lens. We'll see. We'll have to keep an eye on this. We have 14 in here now. We'll check it in right under an hour when this Rosa dies and see if we have more than 14. Let me check off the Vinculotus. We now have a Vinculotus. Yay! Alright, 
what do we currently have running still? I think we have the tree farm running. Hmm. I need to probably bring some more charcoal over to this drawer. And then we can get going up on supplies for... Yeah, there's only seven stacks. So we'll bring some charcoal over. And then we'll get started on the resources we need for... Uh, the cobble works. That's going to take us a while because I haven't done any thinking about what <laughs> what I need other than I need another setup that does the bore lens stuff. Okay. There we go. Good, good. So since the last time, and like I said, I've been running mana while I was here on yesterday after stream. 31 pools of Hydrangea. 15 from Endoflame. That has gone up two since this morning. So it's doing nicely. And then the rose is at three. Those are the ones we currently have running. Um, the other ones that we could get running here soon would be... Oh, it's going to require quite a bit of infrastructure, but the Thermal Lily. We could get that one running. Um, I wanted to try to do the pre-Alfime ones first, simply because Pixie Dust is hard, is expensive. Um, and that's what these are going to start needing, as well as higher tier runes. Um, so, Entropinium is something we could get going once we have a decent sand supply. Um, the Gormorillus, once we have a farm running, would be nice to do. And the Munch, do we need that other tree farm? The Narslimus is definitely one that we should consider getting to now that we can make the slime in a jar. I should show you where those chunks are that I want to turn into a slime farm. Um, and then the Thermal Lily. Those are the ones I want to get going before we do these other harder ones. So, yeah. Let, let's make that... Uh, I know I'm sidetracking here, but the uh, slime in a jar. There's a slime in a bucket too by Quark. Uh, I think it's disabled when Batania is installed. So we need Alf glass and some Elementium and then a piece of slime. So the Alf glass you get by throwing Mana glass into the Alfine portal and Elementium it's 2 to 1. Mana steel to elementium. So we need to throw in 10 mana steel and one mana glass. There's one mana glass. And we need a slime ball. So we need to go grab some cactus. Oh. Got that. Because we were pretty darn lucky with the amount of um, slime chunks we have where I have where we've spawned in at. Okay, so we'll make the slime in a bottle. Now, if you've never used the slime in a bottle or the slime in a bucket, if you have quark only, it when you move around the world, this little slime that's in the bottle will bounce around if you're in a slime chunk. Can you see him better if he's in this hand? And, uh, not, not really. 
All right, we're gonna switch into creative mode so I can fly around. And let me show you the chunks that we have. Let's turn on the chunk boundaries. Okay, so this chunk clearly does not have slimes spawning in it, but we should be approaching one here pretty soon. I knew they were near my, my mob farm. Come on. Here's one. So we have this one and this one. They're next to each other here. So you can see the little slime bouncing around in the jar. So we have these two and this one that so we have three right here. <laughs> um, that's it. I don't think there's one here or here. Yeah. So we have three slime chunks that we can turn into a very large, very high production for mana farm. Because we don't need slime from the slime balls. We can get that from cactus. It's a renewable resource. We can turn all of the slimes that generate in these chunks into mana. Um... So I will need to figure out a, a slime farm. The traditional slime farm would work just fine. We could add the iron golems that people have been using to lure the, the slimes to one area, um, which may be helpful because then we wouldn't need to put water all the way around the chunks. We could put them all in just one area and, well wait, the range of the iron golem detection is probably not that far. Yeah, we'll have to figure that out if we want iron golem detection or if we just want them to hop off naturally because they will they will move around. So that's that's what we could do soonish is get down to bedrock and start laying platforms. I can do that in creative because it's just laying platforms and then switch to survival to creating the killing area and the uh, mana connecting the mana to our line there. The one problem I currently see and you probably see as well is that we have we have mana in this area. Um I don't remember what Y level spawn slime spawn. I know it's bedrock up to Y forty ish. So I don't actually think this will get in the way. I, this is at like Y60. Yeah, this is at like 63 or something. So we'll be, we won't, in, we might even be able to link up to this pretty easily. Um, yeah. Um, this chunk will probably be where we do the killing because the three around it here are slime chunks. So we could have the platforms, these three here, and then have the Narslimus and the where the slimes gather for the Narslimus to kill here, and then have the mana sent up into this line. That makes sense to me. So what do you think? Exciting? Exciting to me that we don't have to go really far. This will constantly create lots of mana. Uh, the Narslimus flower, and the reason I haven't started it yet is because it required that autumn rune that we can now make because we have the, we, we just don't have automated processes for this. <laughs> but yeah, it's a little slower. So there we go. Are we excited yet? Oh, look, there's a slime chunk right here. I saw it. Yep. Uh -oh. Anyway, put him as a tool, and we'll switch back. Woo! So that's in our future, too. Anyway. To make that setup over there, we need several things. We need some observers. We need some redstone repeaters. We need... Um, pistons, both regular and sticky. 
and we need the mana setup. We need the Borlands and the lava, which I've been just currently pulling out of the little lava spots in the nether fortress. But I am going to have to dig my way down to lava level at some point. Uh, if you've not played Floromancer before, there is a tweak in this pack that makes lava infinite, which is why you can set up a lava collection in the nether to run your thermolily automatically. So there's that. Um, otherwise, the thermolily is not automatable fully in Batania. So, yeah. So let's get started on some of these resources. Uh, we do have a little bit here, so we're going to take a chest. And for what we have, I don't think we need a comparator. All right. So we have enough pistons. We need one and one to do one, an individual functioning thing an individual and I'm gonna bring up I know I have a picture of my setup in the creative world so I'm gonna bring that up so that I just have it let's find it is that you yep okay All right, so we need four observers per section, a dispenser, and several repeaters. With So we need three more observers. Um, I've got three repeaters visible in this picture. Some redstone dust, which I don't have, and a dispenser with a bucket for the lava. All right, so we need some cobble. Of course, I have no cobble. I wish I could convert you into something. I can, gimme, gimme. <laughs> Hello, golden lion. All right. The dispenser, do I have string up here? I do. Thank you, Evernote, for letting me know that everything's peachy. We can remove those things. And let's make one of these. Oh, I need to make a dropper first. Okay. Dropper. Dispenser. There's one. We have some redstone. Um, bucket. We need to go get the lava. And I prefer to use mana glass so I can see things functioning. So we're going to need more of that. We need sand. Of course, I need to smelt it. What am I doing? <laughs> I need you to do sand, though. Do I have glass somewhere? I do. Let's convert you. And then I need some living rock brick because that's what I like to use for redstone structure purposes. And we need a rod of the seas for the water.
All right. Get you. We have living rock brick over here. Don't know how much we have. Okay. Let's attempt this. So our cobble works, as I mentioned, was going to be directly opposite our orchid. So it's going to be over here. And I'm trying to figure out which direction I want to set it up. I actually think I want to set it up how this one is this way. I might want to do it this direction. That way I can use the space in front for turning it into sand and smelting the cobble and sand in front of it. Or I could have it come out this way and have those things on this side. Suppose it really doesn't matter all that much, does it? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's going to be the length of it. That works because we're going to make the walkway bigger on that direction. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think I want it there. So that's the start. And what we're going to do is build it from this way to that way as we did the other one. The sticky piston goes here. Um, I did not make more observers. I should not be building this just yet because I need observers. You need to be the other way. Um, we'll have to go back. And we can put a regular piston here, and then another repeater there, and now we need a bunch of observers. Let's go take care of that. Um, I did go to college. I got a bachelor's degree in Spanish. I have not spoken a word of Spanish in 15 years. So asking me to use some now would be hilarious because I don't think I could. <laughs> Redstone, nether quartz. There we go. I minored in French and I couldn't use that anymore either. Um I could never be a translator and I can I can give you this story. <laughs> When you study Spanish at the university, you have an option to go and spend a semester in a Spanish-speaking country. That is most 
recommended, and it was recommended to me as well, in order to get some fluency. Um, you don't really have a whole lot of fluency when the only time you're using Spanish is in Spanish class. Um, my opportunity to do that happened at the time that I was already married. And that's actually a really difficult, it was a really difficult decision because it meant that I would have been away from my husband and I did not like that idea. Um, yeah, so I did not go overseas. I should have, but I didn't. And the other repeater goes here, doesn't it? I think it goes the other direction, though. I can't remember. I do know this goes here. Oh, nope. 